Hello watch fans, Berth here watches here and this time for you we have a watch that was a stopwatch that was issued during World War One, circa 1916. As you can see we've opened up the case back, the case back has the right levels of tarnish, these are base metal cases, why would you want silver or gold when it's going into a war? There's a piece of paper there that we've not tried to remove, it's left a little witness mark there this is all the patina of age, exactly as you'd want it. This has the large Fion broad arrow on the case back. We haven't been able to identify the maker, although this exact model does feature in the Kiernan book about British military watches. They couldn't identify it either. So to reset, we'll let it go past 60 to start. So to reset, it automatically restarts. Flyback function. To stop the watch, you use the slider at the side. And start it again, restart the slide. What was later known as a PAT3. Nice stiff bow. Absolutely right patina. It's over 100 years old. It was not meant to last this long. It was meant to be accurate because this was issued to the artillery. Now, their li people's lives depended on these being accurate because you, they used to use the time to see where the bombs were landing. Quite frightening. These are still affordable. Normally when you say military watches, uh, particularly wrist watches, you are into many high hundreds, if not thousands, and these are well, they're still very affordable. Practical? No. Don't need one. To be honest, you don't need any vintage watch. But we like them. And I think it's important to remember the role that some of these parts paid. This is available now at berthierwatches.com.